Hello and welcome to Vectors Virtual Software Testing Symposium. My name is Joachim Robakovsky and I've been working at Adaptive for almost two and a half years. In the Global Engineering Services Organization, I work as a technical manager in the system testing department. In the next 20 minutes, I will present to you system testing our journey to CI integration with the cloud-based infrastructure. Well, I will show you an approach of a global organization with the cloud-based continuous integration, continuous testing infrastructure. And I will talk about the approach that we had in our system testing department in order to successfully test and provide feedback of software builds in a standardized way. First, I will tell you why we think having a cloud-based CI infrastructure is a good match for a global organization. And then I will show you how a cloud-based CI infrastructure could be used based on two different use cases. And of course, I will tell you what we needed to consider in our system testing department in order to integrate our test environments into a cloud-based CI infrastructure. One of the key points that we needed to figure out was how can we have one standardized approach for all engineers in a global organization in order to easily integrate a CI-CT flow in every new project that we are starting. And we have already a good foundation for that because we have one process that defines common workflows independent of the development project that is started at Aptiv. When it comes to the system testing environment, of course, the system testing environment might differ from project to project based on the different use cases that come up. But in general, for the different use cases, we have a set of tools that are meant for such kind of use cases that we reuse from earlier projects in new projects. So we have one process, we have some tools that we reuse in most projects, but when it comes to CICT, a typical approach in the past was that the engineering team that was starting a new project, they would set up their own local CICT environment where they would have a workstation where an automation server like Jenkins would run and they would install necessary plugins in order for their CICT flow to be automated the way they needed. The problem with such kind of approach is that for every new project, we risk to reinvent the wheel over and over again. So the question that comes up is how can we standardize a platform for all engineers and all new project teams to use in order to not having to reinvent the wheel where they could have a central team of experts that would help them to get running with the CICT flow in their new project. And by putting a CI infrastructure in the cloud with a set of platforms that are maintained by the group of experts, uh, the platform would be accessible for everyone everywhere and the competency would not ne be needed to be learned again and again in every new project. And this brings us to a point where we have the same process, we use more or less the same tools and we have one CI infrastructure for everyone where everyone can get support from one central expert team about getting started with CICT flow. And this brings us one step closer to having a standardized approach in a global organization. But now that we have the CI infrastructure in the cloud and everyone has access to the platform does not necessarily mean that the ecosystem of the CICT flow would be the same for every project. And for this, I'm going to talk about two different use cases. In one of the use cases, we are doing the software development and system testing internally at Aptiv. And in the second use case, we are going to have external software development, but system testing at Aptiv. So starting with the in-house development use case where we use Aptiv's CI infrastructure from commit to build, I'm going to show you a simple flow of what it can look like. So we have a developer that writes some code, commits it to a version control system, and once the code is committed, a software bill is started. If the software bill is finished successfully, then the artifacts from the software bill, like software binaries, would be uploaded to a repository. And of course, if we have a successful software build, we would like to test that software build by triggering a start of system test. But the system test needs some kind of information, and the information could contain the location of the newly built software binaries. So if we know the location of the newly built software binaries, we can download them to our system test environment, flash the system, uh, system on the test, execute the test cases, and once the test cases are executed, 
some artifacts would be generated in the end of system test, like for example, the test reports that would be also uploaded to our repository. And in the end of the loop, we would also provide some more information back to the developer that could be useful for them to have as a feedback. Now, what, is the, what in this picture is in the cloud? In the cloud, we would have the version control system. We would have the automation servers that are responsible for building the software, for uh, distributing the system tests to the corresponding system test environments. We would have binary repositories uh, that would contain the artifacts from the different jobs. We would have the requirement management system and so on. And in general, in our use case, we have a set of platforms that the CI infrastructure consists of that have been carefully selected in order to work seamlessly throughout such kind of CI CT flow. So in general, we are in control of our CI infrastructure. But what happens if we have to work together with an external CI infrastructure? So here we have the second use case where we have external software development, but we are running system tests in Aptiv. And the question that we would ask is, what should the workflow look like? The answer is we need to decide together. Why? Because the flavor that the two different companies might have of what a workflow should look like in a CICT flow might differ a little bit. So we need to align with each other. Let's look at the flow again. We have a group of developers, they write some code, they commit it to a version control system, a build is started when the code is committed, and if the uh, build is successful, the software binaries would be uploaded to our repository. Then, of course, we would like to trigger system tests that would in the end generate some test reports. But now we have to ask ourselves, for example, where should the artifacts be stored, like the test reports and the binary uh, binaries from the software build. If it would be like in this case that the software binaries are stored in the external infrastructure from Aptiv's point of view, we as a system testing department, we, we, we would need to know how can we download the software binaries and what interfaces would we use? How can we get a notification if a software build has finished successfully in order to start testing as early as possible. We have to know how we can provide feedback back to the developers and so on. And in general, there are many different approaches for integrating such kind of platforms. But the thing is that some approaches are better than others. And in order to find the better approaches, we need to align with experts not only experts from the software development department and system testing department, but also experts from IT department and DevOps departments from the two different companies. And now that we have shown that the CI infrastructure is the backbone of the CI CT flow, and we know more or less what we would like the flow to look like, how do we have to work in order to integrate our system testing environment into such kind of infrastructure? That was one of the questions that we ask ourselves. And in general, in every phase of integrating our test environment into our cloud-based CI infrastructure, we always ask ourselves the question, how do we work and how can we automate it? Starting from the core. So we have a system test environment to which the system under test is connected. So we need to interact with our system under test through RESPA simulation, for example, a canoe simulation. We need to measure and stimulate the IOs of the system under test through some kind of hill system like the VT system. We need to have a set of automated system tests that have been designed in tools, for example, VT Studio. And in case we choose to have a different set of tools uh, that need to interact with each other, we need to know the interfaces that the different set of tools from perhaps different tool providers or in-house uh, built tools uh, or customer specific tools in order to integrate it to our system test environment. So what are the interfaces for the tools to be coupled together? And then once we have figured out how we can have the tools working together, we need to figure out how can we control the system test environment in the way that a tester would normally control the system test environment during a test loop. 
So let's take, for instance, that we have a control application that we want uh, to have uh, to automate the work of a system tester. And now we have to ask ourselves, how should this control application work to meet our needs? What are the interfaces that the system test environment and the tools inside of the system test environment provide in order to automate such kind of workflow? And then once we have figured out and we have successfully implemented a control application that would be able to automate the work of a tester, how can we control this from a system test automation server? So now the software parts of our system test environment, the control application and the software that is controlling our system test environment, they are located in an agent. An agent can be a Windows PC, for example. Uh, if the system test environment would be completely virtualized, the, uh, the agent could be a virtual machine. But in general, the agent is a machine that is supposed to do a job in a particular point in time that we need it to do. So if the system test environment is real, the agent is outside of the cloud. And now in the cloud, we have our system test automation server that is distributing jobs to the agent. And how can we easily control the agent in such way that our system test automation server is not caring about what the agent really looks like? So how can we control it in a standardized way? Then once we have figured out how we can control our agent to do the jobs we want it to do, how can we trigger our system tests from successful software build? So what information do we need from the software build? For example, information about the software binaries that have been the artifacts of the latest successful software build. Then how do we download the software binaries to the system test environment? And now once we've downloaded the software binaries to the system test environment, do we have tools that can automatically flash our system under test? And once we have flashed the system under test and we have executed our automated system tests, how can we put back the generated artifacts from our system test environment back to the repository, like for example, the test reports? So in all of these layers, we have to ask ourselves, how do we work and how can we automate it in such way that we make the approach flexible enough so that our backbone, which is the cloud infrastructure, does not care what project we are in, but how can we make it flexible in such a way that we control the system test environment independent of the project we are in? How do we keep it simple in such a way that we can maintain this environment easily throughout the life cycle of a project? And once a new project starts, how can we reuse what we have already implemented previously? And in order to summarize our journey to CI, um, we found a standard approach through following one process independent of the projects that we are running. So for all development projects, we have the same process. For the CI infrastructure, we use one infrastructure for internal and external co collaboration. And for external collaboration, we are willing to work together with our customers and our partners in order to find a good solution for a CI CT flow. And for this, we would also involve our experts from the IT departments and the DevOps departments in order to find a good solution. And when it comes specifically to the workflow of a system test environment, we have to find a common approach that would comply with the process that we have and would work with the infrastructure that we have in a way so that it's flexible and it's reusable when we are starting new projects. And this brings us to a point where we have found an efficient way to standardize an approach for integration of system testing in a cloud-based infrastructure. And this brings me to the end of the presentation, system testing our journey to CI, where we focus on having a standard approach for system testing using one cloud-based CI infrastructure in a large global organization. Thank you so much for your attention, and I'm looking forward to answer your questions during the Q&A.